हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स टॉक अबाउट बायोमार्कर बेसिकली बायोमार्कर इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट जियो केमिकल फोसिल इन मेडिसिन साइंस वी कैन से बायोमार्कर बट बायोमार्कर इज बेसिकली सम ऑर्गेनिक मेटर सम जियो केमिकल स्टेबल कॉम्पाउंड सो दिस स्टेबल कॉम्पाउंड कैन बी यूज एज ए मार्कर और some specific interpretation we can use with that biomarker like lipid when there is some geological under some geological process like diagenesis and some catagenesis high temperature and pressure beneath the ground it will decompose and it will break down that lipid and ultimately it will form a stable compounds so this compounds is called biomarker like pristen pristen and phyten this is one of the compounds and that pristen is derived from phytol and the phytol is from the you know chlorophyll of a tree this green color see this chlorophyll a produce phytol and under the decomposition of phytol we can get pristine and phyton when that phytol undergo or experience some oxidation or some decarboxylation in that time pristine is produced on the other hand under some environmental condition like dehydration process that phytol turn into phyton so this pristine and phyton is so important as a biomarker because they are the proxy to explain the paleo environment so if we found some pristine in under analysis of some rocks then we can say the redox environment so as this is produced by the oxidation or so decarboxylation so it indicates the oxic environment and the same way if we found the abundance of phyton than pristen then we can say this is the environment was anoxic so this is the very well recognized two options so there are many biomarkers in geological field of study basically for studying in paleo history of earth when we have found enough amount of biomarkers in that sample then we can interpret the history of geologic time so the precondition is that rock sample what we are going to analyze it must have some limitation like avoid any contamination of foreign body recent foreign body it should not be incorporated in that rock samples and the maturity of that sample must be not so high mature because if there is high mature the rocks uh, that means if the rocks undergo so high pressure and high temperature and then we cannot get any biomarkers or any proxy to explain the paleo environment so there are many biomarkers in geological field of study like pristine phyton coronen cadalen retin c33 nlken cyclohexane two methyl hopan index so nl can also one of the biomarker because nl can higher chain nl can indicates the terrestrial input in the sedimentary rocks if there is high amount of higher chain nl can we found then we can interpret as a terrestrial environment than marine like coronin coronin also very important 
So coronin index is very important to identify the paleo event. Like if there is some forest fire or some soil erosion event or some meteorite impact then using the coronin index we can explain that things like coronin is very important tools and very precisely we can identify that event coronin is produced after the burning of organic matter if high temperature is experienced the rocks coronin is formed so after observing that coronin we can say the event like meteorite impact or volcanic eruptions or forest fire because forest fire usually the temperature is somewhat less than volcanic eruption and volcanic eruption is less than meteorite impact so coronal index has a specific value like if coronal index is more than 0.8 so it indicates the meteorite impact so if we under the under some research if we found that coronal index is greater than 0.8 then we can interpret it as a meteorite impact or volcanic eruptions or forest fire depending on the coronal index value so there are many other biomarkers using that biomarkers we can say the soil erosion index like methyl hopan index another proxy divenza furan so this is the proxy for the soil erosion so if there is some soil erosion then the high amount of divenza furan will appear on our research data so thank you so much bye bye